I think of tax havens as places where rich people and powerful corporations escape from their obligations. And why on earth do countries like Canada and United Kingdom and United States allow this to happen? We're using tax havens as part of our competitive model to undermine companies from elsewhere and take on the markets. They set the laws and the regulations in place. The whole of globalization since the 1980s has been about a project for them to create an economy to suit their needs. And if you doubt me, come with me one of these days to Davos in Switzerland to the World Economic Forum, where you'll see these powerful companies at what to all intents and purposes is a supermarket where the, they meet the politicians and they tell the politicians, this is what we want of you. This is the deregulation, the detaxing, the lower taxes that we want you to provide for us. It's an astonishing exercise in selling off democracy. I've been to D Davos twice and both times I've just come away deeply depressed at how weak our politicians are and how much they see themselves as being aligned with corporate interests. What the ordinary people can do is first of all find out more about what tax havens are and how they work. There's a brilliant book called Treasure Islands uh, published uh, by a journalist called Nick Shaxon. Um, it tells us the whole story in a very compelling way. Find out about it, learn about it, discuss it with people, take action. Ordinary people can change the way the world is. We shouldn't be pessimistic about that. Um, our politicians might be unimaginative, they might be talking a narrative that goes back to the 1980s and they haven't moved on, and by and large that seems to be the case in Canada and in the United Kingdom and in many other countries. But we can move politics on and we need to, because if we don't tackle the tax havens, frankly it's going to be a very difficult 21st century.